Hello, Zonga here. So, uh, I've been working on a new mod. This was, uh, was will be, is, whatever. Um, basically, a very low-tech computer mod, so quite the opposite of open computers. Um, it's available for Minecraft 1.88 and for Minecraft 1.7.10. And, well, what is it? Uh, if you know the mo uh, the game, the game TIS100, that will be super helpful. If you don't, look it up. Um, I'd recommend you play it. It's really great if you like puzzle games. So anyway, um, this is basically a sort of 3D interpretation of the TIS100 system. So what you have is you have a, um, casing blocks. So those look like this. And then you have a controller block. So those are the only two... whoops. What was that? The only two mm, blocks in the mod. Um, additionally to that you have modules. So if you know TIS, uh, this is basically the nodes in the system and what you do is you can build your own uh, grids of nodes basically by using these casing blocks. So what you have for now um, is an execution module a redstone module, a stack module, and a random module which generates random numbers. Um, the redstone module uh, is used for outputting and inputting redstone signals. And the execution module and the stack modules are pretty much the same as in the TIS-100 game, meaning the execution module can run assembly code, a very simple version of assembly. And the stack module is used for storing and uh, restoring values. Because the execution module only has a very small storage capacity which is basically one register and the back register which can store one value and can be swapped with the main register. So what can you do with this? Well you can program these and you can build uh, kind of well contraptions to do logic stuff which you might otherwise do with uh, redstone circuits but this is a bit more flexible maybe. It's basically just a different, different approach, approach to it. So for example, what you can do is you have a redstone module, and then you have a execution module, and then maybe another execution module, and another one, and another redstone module. And then what you do is to program these, so these execution modules here, is you use a book for now. Um, I will look into making this a little more comfortable, but for now it's how it is. And this is what you use to write your assembly code. Um, I very much recommend you read the manual of the TIS-100. I will post a link in the description of this video so you can read that up because the assembly language this uses is pretty much exactly the same as used in TIS-100. Um, so what you have is for each node you have input ports and output ports. So for each um, each of these modules. These have four edges and these four edges are used for communicating with the modules next to them. And they can also go around corners. So for this one uh, the redstone one is down and this one is right. For this one that's left and that's right and for this one that's left and that's down. And what you can do then is you say okay I want to move the value from below me to right of me. And then that's configured to this, and for the next one I want to move it from left to right, and then I want to move it from left to down. Right, so these will basically just shift numbers around. Um, as you see, this does nothing yet, and that's because the controller isn't powered yet. So each configuration of casings must be controlled by one controller block. If you do use multiple, that won't work. It won't do anything. If you have none, well, it won't do anything either. So you have to have exactly one. And you can't have more than 16 control, uh, casing blocks per controller. Now to make the controller do anything, you have to apply a redstone signal. And if I do this, you see this now all lights up. And now here we have the output. And if I flip it off again, it goes off as well. Um, so that's the basics of that. Uh, another note is the speed with which the whole stuff executes here is controlled by the redstone power going into the casing. So for example, if I were to put a line out here, let's see, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
If I put this one here, uh, it powers on, but it actually won't do anything. So the state where it gets exactly one power is a paused state. It won't do anything in that state. Now, if I put a signal power of one, then it will very slowly run. So basically, if the power is below 15, then it will only execute every 15 minus power ticks. However, if I put multiple inputs on it with an overall strength of larger than 15, it will actually run more than once per tick. So this will speed up things a lot. So that's the basic modules. Uh, what I can also have is a stack and a random module. So the stack module is basically just for storing and reading values. So for example, if I have this here, this here, and this here, and I say, uh, I don't know, move 15 up. So this will just spam the value 15 into the stack. And then I can have uh, write to, I don't even care, just throw it away. And this will pull the values out here again. So you see the last element in the stack flickers is indicating that it's removed and added again all the time. Um, another thing of interest is these values in the execution modules here. So the ACK is the value, current value of the main register and the BACK is the value of the back register. And then you have the mode, which can be running and waiting and errored. And the last is used for the any port. Again, I'd recommend you read the manual of the TIS-100. It's explained in there what, the, what that exactly is. So yeah, that's the basics for now. Um, here's a little more complicated example. So this one here um, is basically a multiplier. So you, this uses two inputs, which are those two here, and it outputs the multiplied value back here. So if I speed this up a bit, and have whatever here we have one so we can set this to three so currently it's still at two and when this gets through here pop, 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 next computation then we see now it's at six so the input over there is at strength two so what arrives at the case is a, a two which you can also tell here in the module itself so you see those two bars which means it's a power of two and here it's three and the output is at uh, six. Uh, yeah, at six. Right, so that's basically just a really quick introduction to the new mod I'm working on. So that it's called TIS 3D, very much inspired by TIS 100 with a few minor adjustments for Minecraft, of course. So for example, uh, what you noticed um, back here no, where was it? Over there. Uh, in the stack that the value is displayed as f, so as hexadecimal. So instead of uh, the minus 999 to 999 uh, value range of the TIS-100, it's the f full short range, so minus uh, 32,000 something, and it's displayed as unsigned hex. So that's a different, for example. Also, um, the programs can be a little bit longer. They can be 20 lines instead of, I believe, 15 or something. Um, which is basically two pages um, ca that can be displayed here. So if the code is longer than what can be displayed here, and it wraps around, and then when it finishes, you see this flickering here real quick. That's when it goes to the second page to display the second page of code, essentially. So yeah, that's that. Uh, if you're interested in uh, giving this a quick test drive, it's still very much uh, in early development. I plan on adding a few more modules, for example, but the basics should be working. Then you can grab a download from my uh, Jenkins. I put a link in the description too. And if you have any feedback, uh, post it on GitHub. I post the link too. Or come by on the uh, OC channel on Asper in IRC. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. I hope you find this interesting. I think it's very a very neat approach um, to basically low-level computing in uh, Minecraft. All oh, right, uh, recipes. Uh, the recipes are pretty simple, so that's just low tech stuff, essentially. So, yeah. Also, if you were wondering, yes, this is actually running on 188 right now, and that's uh, JEI, the mod, which is basically a slimmer mod version of uh, NEI. And it works really well, so you might want to give that a try too. Anyway, that's it for now.
thank you very much and let me know what you think what do you think bye bye